for life. Hey, I had an idea. What do you guys think of this idea? That I need to go to the grocery store this week for my weekly supply run. How awesome would it be if I showed up and instead of wearing like a surgical mask, I wore this to go grocery shopping? Yeah? No? <laughs> How the fuck are ya, you yeasty labia? Galactic criminal here. I'm fucking excited for the one we've got today, man. Brand new single from Sensory Amusia. Brainchild of Sean Maloney, Joe Parkin, and my boy, producer extraordinaire. You know him as lead vocalist of Despite Exile. The one, the only, Mr. J. Dublerese. Ah. <sighs> Last year I did a reaction to their debut EP called In Extremis. That's right, 25 minutes of just fucking brutal awesomeness. And I do not regret one single minute of it. Honestly, I think that is the longest metal reaction that I've ever done. What I love so much about this project is not only is it some seriously bone-crunching death metal, but Jay's vocals on this are insane. I mean, I guess the only way I can really think to describe it it's like with Despite Exile, it's very, his vocals are very measured, very, very focused and melodious. And massive reasons as to why I love, 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 love that band. But with this band, it's like, it's like he's taken the shackles off of the monster and set him loose. Set him loose on the unexpected public. Yeah. <laughs> also, when he let me know that this was out, he didn't say anything about the track except for, I hope you enjoy, it's loud. <laughs> all I need, that's all I need. Let's get into this sensory amusia. Death. One, two. <laughs>
Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> wow. I mean, that thing was like Fellowship of the Ring. I had, it should have ended a bunch of different times. <laughs> you see what you get when you program your drums? Just brutal. <laughs> or at least I assume that they programmed the drums. I mean, if somebody's actually playing that, that's pretty fucking fantastic. To be completely honest, it sounds like something coming from, uh, from, uh, what the... What the fuck are they called, though? The Baby Killer Band. Fucking Infant Annihilator. Infant Annihilator. It sounds like something that would have come from those motherfuckers. And it was just murder. Murder off of the top of this. That was... That completely exceeded my expectations. Again, this is what I'm going into. Another one with a bias. I already love Jay, and I heard the, the band before. Like I said, the EP that I reacted to last year. I believe this is already better, in my personal opinion, than most of what was on that other EP. I mean, this is just like, it looks like it said it was just track two on, the mother on this motherfucking EP. Man, cool shit. I believe the two guys, the guitar and bass, are from Australia. And he's in Italy, so this is, I, yeah, and then this is like a cross-country fucking project type thing. That was so good. Just relentlessly cool, dude. And unlike some other, like, death metal bands of the same variety, there was some, like, there was a nice mixture in here of stuff happening, different changes, and that for the most part it was just the adrenaline fuel just... And you know me, I love the speed, the tack attack of the drums in this. Man, I want to compliment the drummer, but again, I don't think there is one. But whoever programmed these drums, if that's what you did, I'm assuming it would have to be Jay that did that. It was just insanely well done. Insanely, insanely well done. Man, the adrenaline that came out of me from this track was so good. I think the only complaint, the only small minuscule complaint that I have with this was for at least, I, I think maybe I got used to it. Or maybe it changed throughout the track, but from the beginning to, like, almost the midsection, maybe just, like, that first third of this track, the vocals seemed a little too subdued for me. You know, like, to, to set a little bit too on par with the rest of the music in the mix. I wish they had it been pulled forward because the vocals are so good. So good! Like I said, in, in this band, very untamed style of, of Jay's vocals that just I, I've not heard until... I reacted to the first EP from them. I didn't even know he was capable of, I guess I kind of assumed he would be capable of that more chaotic style of death metal, death core style of growl. Dude, but he just he does it so well. And with enunciation and everything, there wasn't any garble in there. There was a bit of tunnel screaming in here too. Sometimes, dude, showing the range on the screen from, fuck man. It's just so good. It still friggin' blows my bag. My. After hearing like bands like this, for, for so long, how they can do those vocals. I mean, even when I do stupid karaoke shit, I give her one shot, one go, and I'm usually, my voice is like done, but I'm a smoker and I'm fat and I'm out of breath. That's usually what it is. I don't know how they could keep that up for an entire show, you know, and appease their audience, you know, give them exactly what they heard on the album, if not better. And I'm sure not every band can do that. People like, tend to start to lose their voice after a little while, but. Like, uh, fit for an autopsy, I did a reaction to a live presentation they did in the K, the K studio or whatever the hell they call it. It was a 30 minute set and you could tell the vocalist was, he was getting tired on that. He was starting to lose his voice a little bit toward the end. So yeah, I just, I am blown away with how friggin' good that was. Oh man, this week is setting out to be some good shit. I really hope that uh, Crystal Lake drops their new track early enough tomorrow for me to be able to get to it for Wednesday's reaction. We had some, some sick shit from Spirit Box yesterday, man. Some fucking erase me from Make Them Suffer was badass. That was what, last week? I just... Yeah, this year just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better for fucking music and just worse and worse and worse and worse and worse for life. For life. Hey, I had an idea. What do you guys think of this idea? That I didn't need to go to the grocery store this week for my weekly supply run. How awesome would it be if I showed up and instead of wearing like a surgical mask, I wore this to go grocery shopping? Yeah? No? <laughs> Overall, this track was absolutely phenomenal. Other than, like I said, 
maybe having been brought the, 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 the maybe having brought the vocals forward a bit more. I have no criticisms. I am a hundred percent on board with this. I'm so glad that there's an EP as well to go along with this coming out in August, the end of August. I think it said there. Yeah, I'm excited. I am excited. So, hey, what did you guys think of this motherfucker? Did you love it? If you did, you should check out the other EP. It's out on fucking YouTube. You can hear it right now. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video so you can go to watch it for yourself full screen for audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.